Hi Libra, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you and that the messages will be general, alright? So the roles can be reversed. And yeah, you can watch one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs if you feel like this isn't your reading. Alright, let's see. What is going on with Libra? Mid-March to the end of March. What are the major themes? All right, we have karmic partner and we have victim. All right, so it's pretty specific here. Um, yeah, this is Mannix. He's kind of been driving me crazy. Um, while trying to start your video, I thought I had him un under control, but I guess not. All right, apparently he just wants to be in Libra's reading. All right. <laughs> Okay, so this is very specific, all right? If if there is not a karmic partner involved in your situation, then this is probably not going to be your reading, okay? So karmic partner is very specific. Um, it is most likely going to be another person. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner, but it is a karmic partner, okay? Um, so yeah, whoever is involved with this um Karmic partner is possibly feeling like a victim or is in a little bit in victim mode, feeling like there's not much that they can do about it or just not knowing how to get out of it. So it could be you, could be your person. Let's let's get into this. So I just want to clarify something. When when I say karmic partner, it just means that it's it's a situation or a connection where there are lessons to be learned. Um, and once the lessons are learned, you know, then there's supposed to be this, a closing out, all right, of this situation. Okay, that's just the way I'm using this term in this particular um, case. All right, there's always going to be karma in any type of a connection, most likely. And it could be that even somebody you have karma with, you, you are, you know, you are staying with them your whole life. It's not always a bad thing. All right, just in this particular case, this person is feeling trapped in this. All right, so Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of March. Yeah, and I know, he's, he's sitting right smack in the middle of the desk right where I want to lay the cards out. <laughs> Uh, but if I move him, then he might just start going crazy again. So we're just going to have to make the best of it. All right. So for your situation, we have the Three of Pentacles crossed by the Seven of Wands. Okay, so it feels like somebody has some resistance when it comes to a partnership or to some kind of a collaboration. Okay, so it could even be the, the um, person who is involved with the karmic partner um, who is just um, putting up a lot of resistance when it comes to that to that connection. All right, just in general, overall, it almost feels like a, just blocking it out, but blocking it out isn't going to resolve, right, whatever the issue is here. Let's see, the recent past, we have the King of Wands. Near future, we have the Seven of Pentacles. For you, we have the Page of Wands. For them, the Sun. I will get him out of the way, but he wanted to come and take a look at you guys. Um, all right, more about you is the Five of Cups. For them, the Three of Wands. And potential outcome, the Page of Cups. All right. So basically, um, I feel like you're, right now, you are in this phase of learning. You're learning a lot, but this learning is also coming with a lot of pain, a lot of, a sense of loss, feeling like there's just not much you can do here. For your person, they're waiting. I feel like there's, there's some kind of a waiting energy here, all right? So if it's them, that's with the karmic partner. Um, there is, it does feel like there's a little bit of a stalling here, even though this person knows exactly what it is that would make them happy, all right, with the sun. Um, they're looking for that happiness. They want to be happy. 
but at the same time there's a procrastination or a waiting. Um, if it's you that's with a karmic partner, it's still this person waiting then for you. All right. Um, we'll see. We'll see more details when we clarify. But for the for what is coming up. There is some effort here, all right? Somebody's trying to make sense out of things. Somebody's trying to kind of organize things and put things into place. And I feel like with the Page of Cups being here in the in the potential outcome, there is an opening up, all right? There's opening up the heart to to love. All right, for for this connection. So let's um let's clarify and see what we get. He just still wants to be there. <laughs> I mean, he's cute and all, but you know, at some point you do want to see the cards. And I feel like the, the camera just like um, focused on him and so maybe the rest of it seems blurry. I can't really tell, but I will move him, I promise. All right, so let's clarify the Three of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. All right, we have we have death, we have the seven of wands again, and the seven of cups. All right, so three sevens here. All right, if if that means anything to anybody, just calling it out. Um, yeah, there's a lot of resistance here. Somebody, I feel like there's a resistance to to an ending. All right, so whoever it is that is in this um, karmic situation, in the karmic relationship, there's a lot of confusion about it. A lot of just, uh, I feel like it's too much thinking about the options and because the options are just, none of them feel easy. None of them feel like, all right, you know, this is the right one. This is the way to go. Like this one's going to be easy. Then it's just kind of blocking it out completely altogether rather than just, you know, choosing a way to go about it. How long are you going to stay there for? Let me see the King of Wands in the recent past. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the King of Wands again. All right, so it feels like in the recent past, um, there was some effort here. Somebody was putting in effort. Somebody was trying to take control. Somebody was finding the courage. Um, it feels like, you know, there was a sense of, all right, you know, I got this, I can do this. Yeah, all right, let me move him now because he's trying to actually pull on the camera cables. All right, so it feels like there was this sense of, okay, having put in energy and effort for something, and this could even be you, okay, for something, let me get one more. The Six of Swords. All right, yeah. So somebody put in effort here and really felt like they were on their way to leaving something behind. All right. Um, so that was definitely there in the past. Obviously, it hasn't really um, come through unless it's the other person here trying to move away from the connection. But because you also have sadness in your energy, I don't know. I don't know if this... Um, really happened. I feel like it was just a time period where effort was put into doing that and then it just didn't really um, happen. So let me see the Page of Pentacles for your energy. All right, we have the Empress and we have the Star. Yeah, see, so whatever it is that you're dealing with here, because I do see that there's a lot of sadness, you're feeling a lot of loss possibly some grief, maybe even guilt. Um, whatever it is, I feel like you're moving in the right direction, all right? You are you are learning what you are meant to be learning at the moment through this, all right? And this is leading you towards this star here, right? Which is, to me, it's also, you know, wishes coming true and moving towards you really finding yourself here as this as this empress, all right? Regardless of whether the you that I'm talking to is male or female, it doesn't matter. All right, this is how it's coming through. So it's really moving you towards 
learning a lot about your own self and moving you towards something that is going to be a lot more a lot more peaceful than what it is now. Let me clarify the five of cups. All right, the two of wands and the ten of pentacles. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of you, you don't know what is going to happen here. All right, even if it's you that's um, involved with this um, karmic partner, I feel like because either way, it feels like you also are at a crossroads and that you also need to make a decision here when it comes to to a commitment and having to make that decision or just not knowing what is going to happen I, in either either path that you choose is creating a sense of loss for you. All right. But again, I just I want to stress this again. You're moving towards this Empress energy and towards the star. All right, which is very, very positive. So you are growing through this, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. So let's see for the other person here. Let's clarify the sun. Ooh, the page of cups. And the two of swords. Yeah, so it feels like there's a decision here that needs to be made on both sides. On both sides. And I feel like your person is really trying to, again, like intuitively, they know what they feel. They know where their where their happiness lies. But again, there's this sense of really I want I almost feel like this if this is your person, this is again like that seven of wands like just bringing this resistance, not wanting to see blocking blocking things out. And if you're cross watching for a Libra and and you feel like this is you, then yeah, it could be that you are blocking out your emotions a little bit, trying to, even though you know that this is what would ultimately bring you happiness under certain conditions, of course. Um, it's a blocking out, possibly, of those emotions. I feel like it's just something that might be very painful to deal with um, at the moment, and this is why this blocking is happening, but that's not going to help anything, all right, whether this is you or whether that's them. Let me see the three of wands. For their energy, and we have the king of pentacles and the eight of wands. Yeah, I feel like this person is waiting. Again, it's it's they're they're waiting for some kind of action to to be taken, um, or for some communication possibly, a communication that has to do with with commitment and where where this is going to go. I feel like it's um, trying to have. It's like having an idea in somebody's head. But waiting before this idea is actually executed. And I feel like they're waiting, this person is waiting to feel a little bit more grounded before taking some kind of action or having some type of a uh, conversation, which I feel is going to be a very serious conversation. Let me see the seven of pentacles. So this is for the near future. We have the page of wands and we have the lovers. Yeah, okay, so whoever it is that's in this uh, karmic relationship here, I feel is really trying to those options that I was talking about before and feeling like, okay, you know, that none of them actually feel easy and so they just block them out. I feel like they're really trying to put all of this into perspective in order to finally have some kind of result. Because it feels like it's just, like there's this waiting here, just in general, from somebody. It doesn't matter which, which person it's from. 
whoever it is that's stalling, or you know, if the other person is waiting, there's going to be some kind of trying to put things together in a practical way so that a decision can be made here. And again, I always say this because, you know, sometimes in these videos I get these comments about, you know, if, um, you know, if you're just an option, then, you know, get out. And yeah, you know, that is true a lot of the time. So just, you know, take the messages as they apply to you and just keep in mind that not all situations are the same. Situations can be a lot more complicated than you would think. Um, and it's not always exactly like that, but yeah, definitely if you feel like you're being, you're being mistreated or you're just an option, um, you know, for something simple, then yeah, you know, you don't, you definitely don't deserve that. All right. So always follow your, your intuition. All right. But no, that's, you can't speak generally for everybody because some situations are just a lot more complicated than that. All right. So let's see the page of cups for the potential outcome. Because I do see this, I do see a conversation happening. Um, that might actually be a little stressful, judging from this Nine of Swords, and we also have the Knight of Wands. All right, so it does feel like there's going to be um, an honest conversation here coming from the heart, either between the two of you or between w with the person who has the karmic partner and, and the karmic partner, all right? Um, because there is a lot of stress here. But because we have the Page of Cups, I feel like it is going to be coming from a place of true emotions and from an opening of the heart, all right, is where this conversation is going to be um, stemming from. And whatever it is, it's, it's, going to, it's going to happen and it's going to happen, I feel like it's going to be a very intense type of, of a conversation that is going to represent something, you know, um, pretty significant for the course of this um, of this situation, all right? It's just, it's not going to be an easy one. It's going to be open, yes. It's going to be coming from the heart, yes, but that doesn't necessarily make it easy, all right? So, yeah, do expect that. All right, Libra. Let's get your final oracle message, if this resonated. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. If it didn't, then it's probably just not your reading. All right, we got two. We have forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. All right, so yeah. Forgiveness. For a lot of you, this you know, this could even be having to forgive yourself if you are the one um, having to release a karmic partner. Oftentimes, there can be a lot of guilt um, attached to that. Um, sometimes it's you know um, the other way around. Like you might need to forgive a person that is in another commitment, right? For certain things that may have happened. All right, because holding on to resentment is not going to to help you or them. All right, and then the second card is look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Yeah, exactly. You are stronger than you realize. You have this Empress card here. You're learning. You're moving forward. All right, there might be some sadness, but remember you are strong. All right, and you will get through this. All right, Libra, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.